Hi, this is problem three from the 2018 AIM-1. Kathy has five red cards and five green cards. She shuffles the 10 cards and lays out five of the cards in a row in a random order. She will be happy if and only if all of the red cards laid out are adjacent and all of the green cards laid out are also adjacent. For example, the three configurations shown will make Kathy happy, but this last configuration will not. The probability that Kathy will be happy can be written as a reduced fraction m over n. Find the sum m plus n. Okay, one way to count this in an equiprobable way is to imagine dealing out all 10 cards in a row and only looking to the left five cards to satisfy the happy requirement. So uh, let's list out all the happy configurations that we'll need to count. So in the first case, We have uh, five red cards in the leftmost portion, which leaves five green cards to the right. We could have red, 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 green, which then leaves us with one red, four green to the right. We have to consider the complement, green, 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 red, which then gives us one green, four red to the right, and continuing, two red, three green to the right, green, 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 two green, three red to the right, and keeping going, that's uh, three red, two green, three green, two red. Or green, red, red, red. And I think we know what that looks like. And finally, all greens. And when we write it out this way, what we notice is that the cases that we have to count kind of form a symmetric list where it looks like we can break this list right down the middle and we'll notice that these cases that we have to count up here will pretty much match the cases to the bottom. So whatever counting we do here will match the counting that we have to do down here and this last one will match the first one. So let's count up how many ways can we achieve the configurations listed. For the first one there's only one way to achieve the 10 cards with five reds to the left, five greens to the right. For these configurations, we have one red and four green, or conversely, one green and four red. There are five choose one ways to achieve these configurations, which is five, but we have two of these cases, so 10 in total. For the fourth and the fifth, we have two reds and three greens. Five choose two ways to achieve that, which is 10. We have to multiply this by the two cases. So that's 20 in total. And these will basically be 20, this will be 10, and this will be one. So all total, the number of ways that we can achieve these happy configurations is 1 plus 10 plus 20 times 2 is 62. And now we have to figure out how many ways can we deal out the 10 cards uh, taken as entire uh, list of, of the 10 cards. So in that case, we'll have five red cards intermingled with five green cards. And the number of ways that we can deal that out is 10 factorial, 5 factorial, 5 factorial, 10 times 9, do some cancellations, that's 9 times 4 times 7, that's 252, the total number of ways that we can deal out 5 red and 5 green cards in a row, so the probability is the number of ways that we can do it to achieve a happy configuration divided by the total number of ways that we can deal out these cards. We can uh, 
make a reduced fraction, add up the numerator and the denominator to give the final answer 157.